Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is Quad, and today we're going to be playing a game called Manor Lords. I know very little about the game. I know pretty much nothing about the game, so this is going to be a first impressions kind of a look, and the uh, only thing I know is it's similar to something like Banished. Anyway, let's start a brand new game. I will be playing this on 1440p max settings. Oh, okay, so we actually have to create a portrait and all that. Okay, well, let me get this all together. Okay, I spent a little bit of time here. Our name is Quado. We're using this guy because I have a mustache and a goatee. And uh, this is our, our coat of arms, rather. It's meant to represent the working class. Uh, yes, indeed. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit continue. Oh, good lord. Okay, what do we got? Oh, my god. Okay, so the middle one, which is looks like the default mode, the victory conditions is to conquer every region. And uh, it is the goal is to basically build and expand at your own pace. And when we're ready, we could challenge the Baron up north. Okay, what about the prosperity one? Victory is reach the large town settlement level. After that, you may choose to continue. Oh, okay. The premise is to fulfill the requirements of your citizens, plan and rule medieval town as you see fit with no worrying about combat. Oh, well, that sounds kind of nice. Um, Well, I mean, I kind of like combat in games. Um. Let's see uh, this one here on the edge. Grow your city and raise force as quickly as you can. Uh, lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Survive the attacks and reach the large town settlement. Okay, so the two end ones, uh, the main goal is to basically reach large town. Where the right one focuses on battle pretty quickly. The left one, there is no battles or uh combat to worry about and then the middle one seems like a kind of in the middle you know what let's just do the middle one i think this seems like a fairly good goal right yeah 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 oh end goal okay and then we can actually customize this if we wish so you can change your end goal from growth domination and conquest wow there's actually a lot of settings here i'm quite surprised okay ai aggression uh, raider frequency raider your free years Oh, okay, two years before the raids start happening. Initial bandit camps is just, okay, one, maximum of three, starting in the spring, standard supplies, normal taxes, armament deliveries, uh, balanced for residential requirements, food does spoil, well placement, underground water. What is this? Unconstrained, under, okay, underground water. Oh, I see. So that must mean unconstrained means there's probably water everywhere. So we'll keep it on, under, on underground water. And balanced weather events. Yeah, I guess this will be fine. Yeah, just the default. I guess we'll just do... Oh, look, and then you can create your own as well. Okay. Okay, well, let's go ahead and begin, I suppose. All right, well, here we go. And yeah, I'm pretty familiar with the city builders. I've played a lot of them uh, in the 90s. Barrow was one of my first. What? The hell did he say? New message. Okay, let's click it. Build your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims toward region owned by opponent. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Okay, well, let's see here. Uh, in manor, lords, families need food and fuel. Uh, can we hit spacebar? Okay, spacebar does pause. Okay, okay. Uh, so they need food and fuel and a roof above their heads to survive. Okay. Supplies in the region panel above show how much you got left. Uh, that must mean up here, right? We have a, some construction, some food, fuel, and that's about it. Uh, we have about three months before supplies run out. We do have some livestock. Uh, looks like one oxen. Oh, interesting. And uh, there's some regional wealth, public order. Approval ratings, your population. So we got 10 people in the town to start with. And uh, looks like this is going to be our jobs or so. Five unassigned people. Uh, does that mean we have children? Possibly, possibly. Says five level one families. Looks like that eight might be kids or something. I'm not too sure. Can we click on it? No. Can we click on this? No. Maybe we can later. How do we rotate our camera, by the way? I don't know. Oops, no, don't put me just pushing random button squad. So, okay, so you can move your camera around with WASD. And then if you hold in your mouse button, 
and do the old spinner -roo. Okay, let's hit got it. And uh, let's kind of look at this game a little bit. It's really beautiful. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, definitely looks really good. I don't know much about it, like I said, other than the splash screen at the beginning. But um, it's early access, so let's unpause it. Uh, let's look at these tents, I guess. Homeless people's tents. Oh, they are homeless, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Homeless people's tents. Oh, they got names. Excellent. Let's look at some of these people real quick. Or not. Um, I don't know how to look. It has a uh, thing on here. Oh, oh, double clicking your middle mouse button puts it back to like a default view. Okay. Uh, we need houses. Let's just go ahead and pause it for now. Um, I think if we hit. I'm going to say if we hit help. No, no, no. We don't want, we don't want to be doing that. Get out of here. Stab it. Okay. Okay. I don't know how we look at these folks. Anyway, let's see. Where's the build tool at? Down here. Construction. We need some houses, I'm going to assume. I don't know. Is there a um, mission board? Wait, here we go. Every region of Mana Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil for fertility before deciding on a direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade earlier. Okay, so this is basically just telling me to keep an eye on my local resources. Okay, I wonder how we do that. Okay, there's overlays over here. Hold on, let me get out of that building thing. Oh, no, we've got to keep the building on. Okay, so here's underground water. That's really cool. So we, of course, want to put a well uh, somewhere on that. Okay, fertility. So this would be growing. Okay, it's a very fertile... Oh, my God, look how big this... What the heck? Oh my god, this map is huge. Wait, hold on. This view shows you which regions are under whose control. You can press claim to other regions when you gain enough influence. Where are we at again? I've already lost my house or my home. And then each one of these little things shows you different deposits and such. Like here's fish, clay deposit, stone and so forth. Okay. Okay. Where are we? Okay, we are in this region, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we're setting up right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's look at these other ones real quick. Is there people in these things? Can we click on them? Okay, there's diplomacy over here. I don't know who these folks are. Outlaws. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, drop a paragraph here. What does that mean? Okay, it seems like we could do like trade deals with them. Let's look at the outlaws. Well, he looks tough. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, I don't want to talk to any of these idiots. Okay, you know what? Let's just get back down to our little spot here. And what was that? A clay deposit. Okay, okay. Let's go back to build. Flax. I forget what flax is used for. Uh, from Pharaoh. I think it was food. I can't remember. Anyway, it's not a lot of flax. Healthy flax land. Barley. That's for alcohol. I do know that. Rye, I'm pretty sure that's for, like, breads. Yeah, barley, at least in uh, Pharaoh, yeah, it was a huge thing for... Okay, look, they got a lot of green over here. Okay, 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 let's get back in here. Uh, what else do we got? Rye, smell. Oh my god, they're, dude, I love it. There's not a lot of games that include smell into their games, right? I love that there's going to be smell. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people always say, Oh, I wish I could go back to... The 1600s, and uh, I'm like, man, it's going to be pretty stinky. And then, of course, fire. Okay, cool. Well, let's um, see about houses. We got logging camps, woodcutter lodge, a saw pit, forester's hut, a hunting camp, a forager's hut again. Why is there two of them, I wonder? Oh, it's a forester's. This one's a forager's. Okay, and then a fisherman. Okay, okay. This is under gathering. And there's a mining section. The stone cutters and mining pits, okay. There's a logistics section with a granary to store our food. A storehouse. A pack station. Use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between another region. Oh. And then a hitching post for your for your animals. I think we already have a hitching post down there. Let's kind of look here and see what we do have. Well, it doesn't look like too much. I think, okay, this is supplies. 
You can click on it. Beautiful. More supplies. Which is going to be like our little food area. Okay, now I'm able to click on stuff. So there is a hitching post. Can I click on people now? No, not quite yet. And then, of course, homeless people's tents. Okay, so there's not much. Just a hitching post, basically. Okay, okay. The next uh, one is residential. Okay, this is what we really want. What the heck is that called? A burgage plot? Provides living space for a single family. Okay, I think I said we had five. Okay, here's our well. I don't think there is a well set up quite yet. There's a marketplace. Provides a space for assigned families to set up their stalls and distribute their produce. Uh, produce. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I wonder if like certain families own like certain businesses and uh, kind of acts as such. There's a tavern, of course. The old church. And a corpse pit. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Okay, what's next? Farming. Uh, there's the fields. Farmhouse. A pasture. A sheep farm. Windmill, which should turn grain into flour. Yep. And a communal oven. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Okay, what's next? Industry. Holy crap, here we go. A bloomery. A smelter's. No, no, no. Workers smelt iron into iron slabs. It does require fuel, so we're going to need a camp lodge right away. Okay, there's going to be some basics that we need to get down immediately. Here's a clay furnace, a malt house. Oh, that must be for the brew. Yeah, it turns barley into malt, which is a form of alcohol, if you don't know, but you probably do. Uh, tannery, hides to leather. Excellent. We can make clothing, of course. Oh, wow, there's a dyers workshop they refine berries into dyes oh dude that's amazing okay trade we have a trading post enables trading with visiting travelers okay so there's going to be people coming in and going and then a livestock trading post wow wow so i'm assuming our livestock if we have the right sexes they should be able to have babies settlement cap a settler's camp place it on an empty claim territory in order to oh so if we want to create new settlements we would be using the settlers camp and then cosmetic shrines and oh you can erase shrubbery oh so like non gameplay related shrubs and small stones oh i like that for aesthetic reasons because you know sometimes games you know they have a tree or something in a way or a stone uh for where you're building okay well let's start off with the most obvious First, we're going to definitely need to grab a well, which if you forget, like I did, it's under residential. Um, so luckily, there's these underground rivers. Um, let's go ahead and set one up. It looks like we can build anywhere. Oh, what are these little circles? You see them? What does that mean? Is those like access points, possibly? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and just put the well. I think we'll just put it up here. It only takes one log. What did that gentleman say? Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Okay. It's pretty par for the course, right? I'm getting a little excited here, getting the hiccups. Timber transportation. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the oxen when they need it. Oh, shut the front door, dude. I actually really like that. Uh, let's come back up here. So we it says we have five families. Um, Let's go ahead. Is there a speed, I wonder, for the... Yeah, okay. We'll just unpause it and let it run. Oh, dude, look at the oxen. He's going to go get the log. Okay, call me intrigued. Um, Let's go ahead and start building some homes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Flexible plots. Oh, wait a second. Flexible plots? Oh, okay, so we can build like a little section and they kind of just... Okay, that's kind of cool. The first two points mark the front of the house by default. Okay. So we don't have any roads. Um, Do you have to have roads? I wonder, I wonder if they create roads organically as well. Okay, okay, let's see. The water is going to be up. Okay, they are creating... Okay, never mind. That was smoke. I thought this was like an organic road. Anyway, since the well is going to be there... Let's just build... I don't know. Let's just build over here. A couple houses. Wait. I think we have to click one. 
I don't know. It doesn't have like a number, so two. I don't know how big these need to be. Okay, okay, now we can see. And if we do some weird shapes, we can get more in. Okay, let's build two houses over here. I suppose. Wait, did we get it? Oh, and then you can hit that button. Oh, and then you can add and remove houses if needed or change the size of them. I oh, do. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be the front where the street would be. Um, let's flip it around, actually. And I think we'll make the street run this way. Uh, what do we do? And then just hit this. You know, yeah, let's go ahead and build this. The next thing that we're going to start building is going to be a logging thing, right? A woodcutter's lodge. Um, and since there's a road, I don't know what that big arrow means. And how do you rotate, by the way? Well, don't press R. I don't know what R did. Anyway. Oh, we need a logging camp first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see. How do you rotate? In almost all cases, resources and mana lures have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed. Oh, yeah, well, that's good to know. Okay. Okay, rotating is going to be holding your right mouse button and clicking. Just kidding, it's not. It was the left mouse button. Oh, yeah, check it out. Okay, uh, let's angle it this way, I think. So we'll have those two houses there. Let's go ahead and build... I don't know if we should have them close together or kind of far apart, you know what I mean? Okay, I think I'm going to push it back just a little bit here. Trees uprooted for construction, too. Oh, okay. Because I was too far. Okay, let's put this here. And then... I don't know if we need the woodcutters... Woodcutters... Workers fell nearby trees and split the logs producing firewood. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to need the woodcutters lodge. So let's go ahead and do a woodcutters lodge as well. Um, should we just do it right next to this one? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Let's just bring it like back in here and we'll just kind of make the road kind of turn. There we go. Right click. We'll deselect. Okay. Homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check their requirements. Okay, I like that. Okay, it's very much like um, the Anno games, right? Which is cool. Okay, so it needs water access. Okay, it doesn't need a church. And then market, it needs a fuel stall, food stall, and a clothing stall. Okay, okay. Um, but a church, apparently they do need church, unfortunately. I'm not a church guy myself, uh, but I guess that's okay. We have a new message as well. I have heard you have... Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Hello, I have heard... No, 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 that's a bad voice. <clears throat> I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my right and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may have spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal. Hildebolt von Baron Root. Write back. Oh, should we write back? Yeah, I'll totally write him back. Oh my god, what are we going to say? I have no rightful claim to Sibis and Harvest. Oh no, I don't want to say that. Dude, that's going to cause problems with him. Can I just type in here and say, nice to meet you? I'm not here to cause problems. Your time has come. Oh my god. I require silver. I don't know what these two places are. Selbitz and Hoffenstein. Uh, let's zoom out. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, so here's Selbitz. We are we live in something called... Can we change that name? Uh, Nuslaw. Nus Nuslaw. Nus Nuslaw. I don't know. It's, I think it's called Nuslaw. Nus I think... Hold on. <clears throat> No sly. Anyway, um. Oh, he owns both these ones? Well, I'm not even going to talk to him about all that. Anyway, let's get back out here. What are these things up here? Exposed. Okay, we need some storage, apparently. Okay, we still have homeless. Okay, let's get back to our freaking area. Where were we? We're here. Uh, time is still moving. We're just going to keep it moving. Um, this is. Did anybody move in here yet? Let's go to general. Okay, does require fueling. We know this. Uh, residential families one waiting. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, we need to get two, three more houses up, I believe. And they're working on these logging camps. Uh, we need to get some storage going as well because we don't want our food to get bad. Uh, we should probably focus on some roads, I suppose. Let's see how the roading system works. Some workplaces allow villagers to use hand carts to transport up to 10 goods at once. Oh, dude, that's really cool. Reminds me of Pharaoh. However, pulling a handcart off road is extremely slow, so make sure connecting your buildings to roads. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's do it. Uh, let's let's swing around here. Okay, so these are road points, right? Let's just kind of swing it around like this. And then we're going to come around just like so. That's going to have a weird um, little turn. What is this thing, by the way? Yeah, what is this thing, by the way? Oh, that's our well. That's our well. Uh, let's run it straight across through this way, rather. And then I think to about right there. What happens if we right-click? Okay, so I think we're going to have to click twice. Oh, and it's instant build. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. We could also build a road going up this way, which is going to be nice. Uh, yeah, the road looks good. Good graphics all around. Okay, anyway, um, what do we need? Bum, bum, bum. Patience, my dear. We need patience. That's what we need. Okay, anyway. And soon the beating sun. I don't know what they just said. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get some more. Let's look for storage real quick here. Okay, this is for food storage. Uh, let's... We're going to keep it kind of where it's at, I think. We're going to put it like... Maybe like right here. Oh, we don't have any... Not enough goods. Oh, we need to start getting stone. I don't, we don't have stone. Oh, we do have stone. We just don't have wood. Oh no, I think I messed up you guys. I think I messed up. Oh no, he's bringing the log now. Okay, there's still some logs. I guess they're just already used. Okay, okay. Um, let's speed up some time. Is there hotkeys, I wonder? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's just speed it up by four and let them get these wooden, wood buildings put together. Okay, call me really impressed so far, though. I'm really, really enjoying uh, the game. I have zero complaints. So, first impressions are very good. Okay, Wordcutter's Lodge is done. I think uh, we're going to slow down time for one. Let's go to the Woodcutter's Lodge. Actually, let's not and say we did. This building has no assigned families. Select it and assign a family whenever you like to start production. So, that's interesting. It's saying, like select a family rather than an individual so that has me kind of intrigued here i'm wondering if whole families work here assign a family okay does it say who it is erhart herman and idolin show home okay so they all live together Okay, let's go back to it. Let's go to advanced unlimited work limited. Okay. Okay. Let's go back here Let's hit this again, and then let's go to people Okay, so it does it's actually full-blown families. Oh, dude, that's actually really cool um, We're gonna go back. We're gonna get rid of one of the families So that means three people are working here because it's one family, right? It has three people in it one's cutting a tree and two of them are transporting oh that's really really interesting how they have this set up like that okay they, they work they live in this house let's look at this house real quick okay and these guys are just constructing and waiting okay well that's really cool i dig it uh yeah we need to get this thing going asap oh did you hear the tree i missed it but i heard it oh i like how it's like really densely like all the brush and stuff as well okay well i like this game a lot so far uh does, does this feel is this finished yet nope still under construction uh let's wait for this to finish which he's pulling the ox or the ox is pulling the uh log now and that is the last log by the way yeah look i think the stockpile actually disappeared okay oh yeah check them out Oh, hopefully they don't need any more. Okay, no, they have all of the, uh, 
they have all of the timber that they need and you can actually increase the pipe the priority if you need to super cool let's let this finish it's done it's done let's read this while human workforce must be assigned manually livestock workforce is shared between workplaces you can assign livestock to a specific work workplace permanently in the advanced tab of the building this can help speed up the production but will prevent the livestock from doing other jobs oh, okay well that seems pretty freaking cool uh your livestock is like an interesting factor here let's go to let's hire a family who did we hire uh the other people in the house and then here's the livestock so you could specifically assign livestock to a specific company or um business or you can leave your livestock free to do whatever jobs are just necessary because i think as soon as they cut down a tree they're gonna have to use it they're gonna have to use the livestock to uh, haul it over okay well very good uh, we still have a bunch of homeless uh, i don't know what we should be focusing on let's see if we can see the life very high spoilage okay i don't know if we can actually see the length of time i don't think there's a proper like inventory inventory it's just high spoilage well let's go ahead and start on a granary i think uh, the homeless folks are just going to have to be homeless for a little bit, I think. So it's going to take two logs and uh, ten stones. Yeah, let's just go ahead and set this down. And at least get it started, right? Yeah, let's just put it right here for now. Oh, I can't even set it down until I have the actual goods. Oh, that's kind of nice um, and annoying in a way, but I kind of like it. Most games will allow you to set it down even if you don't have it. But I like that it does that because a lot of times i know when i play my games i'll have like you know 10 buildings just kind of queued up so anyway i guess we have to wait for some logs uh, i guess we'll speed up time i don't think there's anything else we can quite build yet and i don't think anybody has to be assigned to this right no 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 okay oh this ox is named fritz that's hilarious what's my name again quato that's right kind of like from uh total recall you know quato's Anyway, let's speed up some time. Oh, check it out. Let's slow down time now. We do have three logs up here. Where are they storing the logs, by the way? Maybe just right on site. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get that granary built now. Uh, we're going to just line it up right there. And then we're going to get a road. <laughs> They're yelling at each other. Anyway, we're going to get a road that connects all of this together. There we go. Nice, tiny, small road. So at least our food won't be spoiled anymore. Let's go back to logistics real quick. And then here's a storehouse. How much does it cost? Two logs? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that next, I think. Yeah, I think we'll do that. As soon as we get another log, we'll build one of those. Oh, check them out. I wonder how we get more oxen, by the way. We might have to trade with somebody, right? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, we have three logs again. Let's go ahead and get that storehouse put up as well. Uh, we are going to set it. Not entirely sure what they all sell at the uh, storehouse. So we're just going to set it right on this street facing this direction. Maybe somewhere like right here. And then let's see how many wood we need for a residential home again two okay and then that's going to be our next focus is getting everybody out of those homeless tents so we're going to build three more homes uh somewhere over this way in fact we're going to expand the road out just a little bit here there we go all right check it out the granary is indeed built we can't hire any families oh we can hire a family let's see who we hired by the way are they homeless oh yeah i think they are homeless i think it pointed me to the uh I think it pointed me to the homeless camp here. Let's find out again. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they, uh, they're they using the homeless people. Okay, then. Well, that well, that's fine. I mean, as long as people are working there. And check them out. They're already moving all their goods. I like that they physically have to move everything. It's one of my favorite things about the Anno games as well as the old Pharaoh game. 
anyway uh i'm impressed with the graphics the game mechanics itself and this music is supposed to be really great unfortunately it is copywritten so we can't experience any of it though well we're running out of food so that's not good um we're gonna have to build some food places i didn't even think about that we have three logs let's go ahead and pause time for a second and we need to figure out how we get food okay so gathering horser's hut yep nope i thought that was going to be for <laughs> berries no 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 we need a gathering hut forager's hut that's that's it not a forester's but a forager's anyway well check this out the hunter's hut doesn't require any construction um let's go ahead and get that built i don't know where i'm assuming on a what does this thing say by the way Oh, wild animals, rich depot. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to stick it over this way some. So, no, let's get into position here. We're going to just extend this road out down here. Yeah, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll extend the road down through this way, and we're going to put the old hunter's hut. Oh, can you? should you put this in it? Overlaps animal habitat will cause migration. Oh, which means I think that means they'll leave, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's rotate this thing around. And I think we'll set this puppy up right here. And then we're also going to set up a forager's hut. Um, I don't know where. I was thinking a, a little bit closer to the granary. Considering, you know, I don't know where they get the stuff from. Maybe the fields and the forests. Uh, let's just do... The forager's hut over here. Yeah. And then we'll get this road connected through, right? Like that. And then we got to connect up this um, hunter's hut down here to this road. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's let them get these built. And uh, we're going to have to get some people in them pretty quickly. Until they start making babies. I don't know. I'm assuming people will migrate to our city as well. I'm not too sure how all that works, but uh, this is under construction still. Um, let's prioritize the hunting one uh, to the highest. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Weather damage. Let's see. It needs to be moved to a storehouse. Okay. That's what we're building over here. And then we still have three families. Uh, that don't have any housing. Well, luckily it's not winter time, so we don't have to worry about them freezing. Okay, okay. Anyway, looks like this guy's getting ready to go over there. Let's just speed up time a little bit. And it's done. It's done. Let's select it. Let's get a family in here. Let's look at it, for instance. Okay, George and Katharina are going to be hunting. Excellent. Uh, so at least now we'll have a means of food. Now we are also building a, a forger's hut, but we're running out of families as well. Uh, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Let's take a look up here. Living spaces. How many families in this region can currently accommodate? Okay, so we only have two houses. We have a population of 12 with five total families. And we only have, I think, one unassigned family. Or assigned. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess they're just going to have to eat on meat for quite some time. Because if we assign all of our families, I'm pretty sure we won't have any construction workers, right? Oh, no. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Oh, no. Hurry up, bro. Let's go and uh, prioritize the storehouse to the highest. In the woodcutter's lodge the storage is full uh, that's going to be over here which is firewood okay it's generic storage okay so i wonder if we'll have to kind of like remove families and put them onto different tasks like this firewood for instance you know what i mean anyway let's go ahead and uh, fast forward until this okay storehouse is completed do we need a worker here we do unfortunately let's go ahead and remove this family from this 
uh, woodcutters and add it over here. There we go. Okay, okay. That seems to work out pretty fine. Uh, and hopefully they'll get all of the goods put away. It's April uh, down here in the bottom right. You could actually see the months, which is really cool. A lot of games will skip months themselves. Uh, year one, April 19th. Oh, dude, I love it. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's a good thing. How's our food doing, by the way? Uh, not too good. We have four meats and 11 breads. Okay. We should probably get some people on berries and stuff. So let's go ahead and hire. Um, actually, we better not. Because if we don't have anybody to do construction, I think we'll be pretty screwed, right? They want a market area uh, for their stall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, darn it. Just take your food to the uh, granary, please. <laughs> let's click on the hunter's camp, by the way. They got two hides and two meats in the generic storage. It's got medium uh, spoilage. What about this? Low spoilage. Oh, dude, okay. And this is the forager's hut. Okay, yeah, we don't have anybody working there quite yet. Um, I guess once we get some wood, we're going to start focusing on homes. Uh, okay, for some reason, it's not showing me the timber up here. So I didn't think we had any. Um, let's see if we can build our homes, though. It looks like we have 12 um, logs over here. So we have a lot of stuff going on to this side of the map. Uh, let's build two houses, I think, right here. We're going to give them a little bit of a longer backyard. Oh, this will fit three houses, I think. So can we move these, I wonder? Yeah, I think that looks fine. We'll put two houses there. They can work these things. And then we're going to put a house down here. Uh, just so our guys have a closer um, home. You know what I mean? Just like that. Just like that. That'll give them a nice little close place to uh, live to their work, right? Okay, cool beans. Um, let's get all this stuff built. We're just going to speed up time for some for a bit uh we are running really low on food where is our food again oh i don't think we have any food you guys oh he has two food okay any food in the granary okay and there's five meats in the granary never mind i just couldn't find it up here Oh, here's the food, duh, the bread. Anyway, yeah, we have seven meats and eight breads. Okay, we're doing okay on that. Let's just speed up time. All right, we got two of the three houses built. Uh, which is great. I don't know if anybody's moved into them quite yet. Um, the next big thing that they're going to want, though, is a church and, of course, the uh, market. So I think we're going to focus on the market once they get that last house built. There we go. There we go. The homeless camp is now removed. So you have to have enough empty plots and your approval rating needs to be over 50% to get more population. Interesting. Where is our approval rating, by the way? We're not above 50%. That sucks. Well, hopefully that will change soon. Uh, let's read our message. <clears throat> a strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons have just arrived and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as settlements grow, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Okay, um, I don't really want to form a militia yet, but I guess we're going to have to. Um, I think we'll hold off on that, I'm assuming. Yeah, 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 I think so. I think so. Family members uh, join... Wait, what does that say? Family members join one of the settlers. I don't know what that meant. Anyway, anyway... 
Oh yeah, look, the storehouse shows... Oh, that's a bunch of firewood. Oh, it doesn't show me everything up here, apparently. I wish it did, actually. That's okay. But we have a lot of stuff down here. For some reason, we have shields already. Spears. Hides. Uh, we have tools and stones. So... Should we join the, or should we form a militia quite yet? I don't think so. We're going to focus on grabbing a market, which is right here. Where are we going to put the markets? Oh, you have to create it. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Um, Well, we could probably put the market right here. I don't know how big we need to make it, so... Let's just run it like this, I guess. I don't know if these are all those little dots or stalls. Oh my God, available market stalls. Oh yeah, that's way too big, I think. Okay, okay, hold on a second, you guys. Hold on. Well, let's do it in this corner. Let's just do, I guess, seven. I think seven will be fine. We'll see how, how this pans out. Oh God, maybe we should have did bigger. I'm not too sure. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned uh, families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories uh, to check and place supply and demand. Um, housing or burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first. Okay, this seems... I mean, that seems fine. Um, let's right click and then are they already building? I don't know how this works. Hold on. I think they just use it when they need it. Yeah, yeah. I think somebody's already setting up a stall. It's probably the meat guys, huh? Oh, that's interesting. Let's take a look in here. Yeah, it's the meat market. Oh, dude. Okay. Well, cool. We have a market. Uh, I think we are on a successful road to a prosperous village. I think we are. Um, I have been going for just over one hour, so I believe we're going to go ahead and end this uh, right here. But my first impressions are really good. Um, I'm very pleased with the game. Uh, the quality is up there. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. I'm... I'm pretty excited for this game actually um and i do want to let you know i forgot to mention at the beginning of the video a uh, darn it this game is being played on xbox game pass for pc but i'll also have a link for the game down below to the steam page as well anyway i think that will be it for this episode if you guys want to see more of this let me know down below i'd be more than happy to continue the old journey and uh see where this leads but anyway Again, my name is Quad. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in another one. Later on, everybody. Later, later on.